Welcome to uh, Cal OES headquarters, and today is a, another beautiful day. Uh, even more special is the fact that uh, we're uh, replacing seven uh, OES Type 1 uh, uh, fire engines that have uh, light USAR capability uh, in the State Fire and Rescue Mutual Aid system. And it is really a nice day to see the crews out here and uh, as we uh, prepare for yet another fire season where uh, these engines will go home uh, in a short time, they'll be uh, put back into service and be ready to respond uh, to a moment's notice uh, anywhere in the state. I'd also like to thank uh, uh, representatives from uh, Senator Nelson, uh, Assemblyman uh, Jim Cooper, and Assemblyman Kevin McCarthy uh, for having uh, representatives here today as we hand off these uh, engines to them. And uh, uh, I'd like now turn it over to uh, uh, my partner, uh, Mark Wells, who's the chief of the Sac Sacramento Metropolitan Fire Department uh, now. Well, thank you, Chief Segaris. Um, yes, I would like to uh, say thank you to the state of California. Um, behind me is um, these fantastic state-of-the-art pieces of equipment that uh, we have the opportunity as the Metro Fire um, District to um, staff in the times of need. Um, I think in the state of California, the master mutual aid system is um, so robust and um, so capable of responding to all types of emergencies and both wildland and, and light urban search and rescue capability in these vehicles is a tremendous asset to the state of California. I know Metro Fire has the uh, opportunity to staff. Uh, we're getting a new one today and uh, two other vehicles that we um, gladly go up and down the state of California. Last year we went into 13 different counties on 11 different deployments with over 63 people and 100, 100 days out in the field. And it's a great opportunity for the state to help each other and most importantly, back here regionally, if we have an issue that overwhelms the resources of our capability, we can ask for that same mutual aid back. So I'd like to thank our partners at um, the state of California, uh, unbelievably cooperative, um, beneficial relationship, and uh, thank you for replacing this equipment um, with such great, safe, and efficient equipment to let us do our jobs better. Janelle Murray from uh, Representative Jim Cooper. Good morning. Thank you all for um, being here today. I just want to say on behalf of Assembly Member Jim Cooper that he sends his regrets that he's unable to make it today. He is performing legislative duties at the Capitol, but that he wants to extend a sincere thank you to Governor Brown and Cal OES for arranging the Woodbridge um, Fire Department and Consumers Fire Departments receive these um, fleets today. It is important for our fire and first responders to have a reliable transportation and equipment, and we are so elated that they're going to be able to do their jobs um, safely and more effectively. Um, we appreciate all that you do and want to congratulate um, Chief Steve Butler from Woodbridge Fire Department as well as uh, Chief Tony Bla uh, Chief, excuse me, Troy Blair from the Consumers Fire Departments. Thank you all. Um, just so we're all on the same page, um, the agencies that uh, are represented here today is Consumers Fire Department, uh, five cities uh, uh, Fire Authority out of San Luis Obispo, uh, Folsom City Fire Department, again, Sacramento Metropolitan Fire District, uh, San Luis Obispo City, San Luis Obispo County slash Cal Fire, and Woodbridge Fire Protection District. And uh, without their uh, support uh, and staffing these engines, it would not be possible uh, to have such a robust and capable fire and rescue mutual aid system uh, when for the backing of their fire chiefs and ultimately the elected body uh, out there. I'd also uh, like to thank again our legislators because without them and the governor's support for our budget to continue to replace this equipment, we wouldn't have what we have today.